Hey guys, Keithy Six here, Metal Detecting in Alaska. Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, you know, there's been times when I've been out, questionable times at night or in the morning, and uh, I've been approached by some shady characters who wanted my stuff. I think they realized that, uh, you know, when you're a metal detectorist, you're out with a couple thousand dollars worth of equipment. So basically, they wanted me to give it to them. They were trying to steal it from me. So I have started carrying things with me just to protect myself. Now, you can't carry certain things everywhere. Of course, you can't carry a gun on school property, so that's one good thing, you know. But anyways, I'll sh I was going to show you a few things that I like to bring with me sometimes when I'm metal detecting in certain areas because every place is different. But one thing I always like to have on me, cell phone. That's a necessity, having a cell phone so you can call for help. I bought this cool whistle. I pin it onto my kayaking vest for when I'm kayaking. And then that way if anybody gets into any trouble I can blow this. And it also blows underwater. They say it's the world's loudest whistle. But I also like to carry it with me when I'm out other places. For some reason this will scare the crap out of a grizzly bear. They just literally jump and run when they hear this. So I carry it with me, and uh, like I said, it's the world's loudest whistle. I'll give you a little test. <laughs> Super loud. Just made my eardrums flutter. Okay, so that's one thing I like to carry. Being that we're in Alaska, I like to carry bear spray. Because you never know when you're going to run up on a bear. And at the same time, you know, people carry uh, pepper spray for people. Well, I pretty much carry this in my car for people, too. Uh, so if anybody would give me a hard time, try to take my car, you know, do a car hijacking or whatever, you know, you never know. Get a mouthful of this. Psh, this will spray 30 to 40 feet in a huge pattern. It will literally cover somebody from head to toe. So that's one thing I like to carry with me all the time. It's kind of an Alaska thing. Another thing I like to carry is this. This is an expandable steel baton comes in a nice little carry case that goes on your belt and basically you can pull this out Let's see if I can I didn't want to flick it totally but uh, basically you flick it with your wrist and it comes out like that now this one's a 29 inch one because I like to be able to reach out and and you know get them before they get me but anyways expandable steel baton and it also comes with a, t a tip that is really like all toothy, so you can jab them with that too. Anyways, let me show you how this works. Just take it like this and go, and there you go. Whack, 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 whack. And then of course you got to pound it on concrete to get it to close, so we'll leave it open for now. Okay, the next best thing I like to carry with me, if you're out metal detecting, is of course you're going to need a flashlight. So I like to use this flashlight. It's made of aircraft quality aluminum or something like that. But I don't know if you can see the edges on there. It's got some pretty rough edges so you can actually hit somebody with that if you had to. But the neat thing about this is it's so bright that you can shine it in somebody's eyes and that will distract them while you use the steel baton. And if that don't work, then just do this. 25 million volt stun gun built into the flashlight. So between these two things, you're going to put a world of hurt on them. But they're easily uh, carried. They fit. Like I usually just carry this down in my finds bag. And you know, if I need it, I pull it out and use the flashlight for a lot of things. It's really bright. But at the same time, it's got that stun gun, 25 million volts. Now, I think I've covered pretty much everything. Now, being that we live in Alaska, my favorite thing to carry for personal self-defense is my pistol. And basically, I have it right here on my side. And uh, I have an in-pants holster. Now, in Alaska, we're allowed to, to carry a concealed weapon. So this is a Ruger SR9C. C stands for compact. I also have a clip that makes it a lot bigger, but it's really compact for when you're carrying it in your hip and uh, it's really accurate 
And everybody says, oh, that won't kill a bear. And I say, well, I'm not really worried about the bears. I'm more worried about people. But anyways, those are some things that I like to carry with me when I'm out metal detecting here in Alaska. And, uh, oh, my computer's went off. My three channels, kayaking, metal detecting, and my new motorhome channel. So anyways, it's nice uh, sharing this information with you guys. And uh, you ought to check all the laws in your state before you start carrying anything like this because each state has different laws. So uh, till next time, guys, be safe out there. Good luck and happy hunting. Yay, metal detecting!